Uh, the first question is, um, many people do have concerns about the decline of the sugar industry and the rice industry in Guyana. Um, should you win the elections, should you take office as the president of Guyana in the upcoming elections, what would you do to revive the sugar and the rice industry? Well, first of all, let me explain that both industries are essential to the Guyanese economy. And in the case of the sugar industry, which is, of course, our oldest industry, we are not going to destroy the sugar industry. We're not going to let down sugar workers. What we want to see is an efficient industry. We want the industry to be turned around. There are managerial problems in the industry. There are labor problems. There are equipment problems. And we're aware of all of these problems. APNU and AFC have collaborated over the last three years in the National Assembly and we have called for a turnaround plan. We want to save sugar, we want to save the livelihoods of sugar workers, but we want a plan. And we are not going to be led by the nose, by the present administration or by any other administration um, into pumping money into an industry which is badly managed. We are convinced that the sugar industry could be saved and that is a commitment from APNU and AFC. Moses. Well, first of all, I think that we will be interested in the forensic audit of what happened in the sugar industry and uh, David is quite right. Our concern is about job security. There are 18,000 families, sugar workers and their families who depend upon the survival of the sugar industry. Unfortunately, uh, uh, the government has spent 47 billion Guyana dollars on rehabilitation of the sugar industry. The skeleton factory, it has not been successful. We have also pumped 17 billion dollars as bailout from the parliament to help the sugar workers. And this came with the solid support from the opposition because we know how critical sugar is for Guyana. But we also want to review, to reform and rehabilitate sugar and to diversify the sugar industry, to be able to bring ethanol, to be able to introduce aquaculture into the part and parcel of the sugar industry so that you don't have a total loss of job security. With regards to the uh, do it with um, the rice industry. We know that rice, in terms of volume, uh, there has been the increase in production. But simultaneously, there has been the fall in the price for paddy from $8,000 per bag to now $2,005, $3,000 per bag. We want to examine the, uh, the deal we have with Venezuela to see whether the price that is being paid by Venezuela is being passed on mm -hmm. to the uh, paddy producers. As we speak, there are protests right now in Esquibo. People have not been paid for one or two crops and it is causing ruination among rice farmers. So our concern is yes, these are the livelihood and the food uh, security for our nation mm -hmm. and the new government which I'm confident we will form on May uh, 12th of this year would be uh, interested to examine the question of the price for sh uh, rice and to create new markets alternative markets as well but there is a big uh, we believe rip off of the uh, paddy producers right now by the GRDB. We want rice farmers to be totally in control of this industry. We don't want the government to have interference uh, with regards to the pricing and who export rice. So to an extent privatizing to. that industry? It is, a private, it is privatized, but you need <coughs> to be able to have the work, the, the paddy farmers uh, uh, representatives mm -hmm. with rice millers to take control and not the middleman, the GRDB with some uh, political cronies, they have their friends who are in charge for shipping of the rice. They have a commission. They set up a fund called the Social Fund. Nobody benefits from that. That's the friends that's supposed to uh, benefit, a farmer's supposed to have uh, cheap fertilizers. We're supposed to look into the uh, factor of drainage and irrigation. These are some of the essential things for the sustenance of sugar and rice. So I believe that we have to change the matrix with which mm -hmm. we look at the two critical industries.